Batteries for years now have only had a few breakthroughs and major developments taking place in the battery making process. For more than a decade, the human race has been stuck with lithium ion batteries. While researchers are hard at work to find a breakthrough in battery technology, we're still a very long way from using them. Since the world is becoming very conscious about our environment and turning towards becoming eco-friendly, living on recycled products, and intending to use renewable energy one day, a lot of people are already migrating to the idea of clean energy. Therefore, seeking out products and product makers such as Tesla who are striving to create products that run on renewable energy. Tesla has unveiled its interest in making this difficult to produce next level tabless batteries that could improve on electric cars range and power. The battery is expected to lower Tesla's cost per kilowatt hour, the unit of energy most commonly used to measure the capacity of battery packs in modern electric vehicles. If achievable, these battery cells could be groundbreaking, but the jury is still out. And the question on a lot of people's minds is, are Tesla's new 4680 batteries better than solid state batteries? Stay tuned to find out. Understanding current batteries. Batteries are solid state devices that store and release electrical current, powering an array of consumer electronics, cars, home utilities, and other devices. Lithium ion is the key ingredient in most batteries. Lithium ion is the main component of most rechargeable batteries. Rechargeable batteries have become widely used in many applications. Different variations of them can now be found in everything from mobile phones and tablets to laptop computers and electric vehicles. While microchips and integrated circuits have become exponentially more powerful, smaller and cheaper battery technology has lagged. Improvements in lithium ion batteries have been small and incremental. In a modern smartphone, the computational effort is packed into a tiny portion of the device while the battery takes up most of the available space. The battery is also a large factor in the total cost of the device. For electric vehicles, the problem is compounded. Electric cars are essentially an array of battery packs on wheels. Under the hood, you'll find batteries and a battery-charged motor, which alleviates the need for any gas. Lithium, however, can be an unstable substance. Therefore, the batteries must be built carefully so they avoid damage during a typical car accident. Even small amounts of exposure to air or water can make lithium burst into flames. Ensuring that each battery is properly sealed and secured is an additional cost. Tesla cars are powered solely by the electrical charge stored in the batteries and are termed battery electric vehicles, or EVs. The reason for the existence of Tesla as a company is simply that lithium ion batteries have the highest charge capacity of any practical battery formulation in history and are high enough to make EVs practical. The idea of using lithium ion rechargeable battery cells was first proposed by a British chemist in the early 1970s. Battery cells are deceptively simple devices consisting of three basic components, two electrodes, the negative anode, and the positive cathode separated by a chemical soup called the electrolyte. Tesla has been using 18 650 cells manufactured by Panasonic in Asia in the Model S and X cars since 2013. Every year in September, Tesla holds its annual Battery Day event where they talk about the latest technological advancements in batteries. As part of Tesla's update call, held with the release of quarterly financial results on Monday, CEO Elon Musk delivered an update about the 4680 format cells. Tesla didn't hold back on Battery Day as they announced a new revolutionary tabless 4680 batteries, among other things. The new form factor eliminates the tab, increases energy density, and maintains similar thermal characteristics of smaller cells, improving the power to weight ratio and streamlines in manufacturing at a lower cost. The 4680 battery cell in a single unit is 46 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters tall. The greater overall size allows for more electrical energy storage five times the energy storage compared to the 2170 battery that was used in the production of the Model 3 and Y. In the first quarter of 2021, Tesla announced that it had delivered 184,800 electric cars that rely on conventional lithium-ion technology manufactured by Japanese builder Panasonic. Tesla also announced its new 4680 battery, which will be manufactured in-house starting with a pilot China-based plant in 2022. The new batteries don't use cobalt, but instead employ a high nickel cathode. They also replace the graphite anode with silicon, the second most abundant element on Earth. Current batteries, including Tesla's 2170, feature tabs, which are metal components at the core, and are welded to the electrodes. Manufacturing these parts is difficult and expensive, and the parts can be a weak link in the battery since the current flows through the tabs and creates a hotspot that can cause electrodes to fail. 
Tesla's 4680 batteries have no tabs. According to Tesla estimates, the new design is 56% cheaper to produce and needs about half the real estate to generate the same power as a 74 kilowatt hour Model Y battery pack. The main advantage is that the laser pattern shingles offer a shorter path for electrons to flow. Tesla says this will be the first million mile battery and estimates that it will retain 90% of its life after 4,000 charge cycles. With all the different variations of batteries out there, Tesla opted to refine an existing platform that involves simpler manufacturing, fewer parts, and five times reduction in electrical parts. The newer cells are designed without tabs and have shorter pathways for the electrons to travel. They are also simpler to build with fewer parts. What this means is that it offers five times the energy, six times more power, and a 16% increase in range with just this form factor change alone. Not only does Tesla claim this design will shorten the charging time to as little as 15 minutes, but the company also says it will allow for faster electron flow when demanding power for better performance. The tabless architecture of the new 4680 cells also has a direct impact on improving manufacturability. Not only does it eliminate the need for a tab, but it also eliminates the need for the production lines to pause to add tabs. This new tabless cell gets rid of this bump in the road, enabling the manufacturing line and making it less prone to producing defects as it hums along producing and seamlessly rolling up massive 4680 cells. The technology is still at least a year or two away from being a viable power source for production vehicles. Solid State Batteries The holy grail for those looking towards an electric-powered future in boating is purported to be the solid state battery. Car makers that traditionally do the heavy R&D lifting for marine propulsion technology, Ford, Volkswagen, and Hyundai, and General Motors are among those investing and banking on its eventual success. In addition to eliminating volatile electrolyte liquids or gels, solid state batteries can use different materials such as lithium metal that have about 10 times the capacity of graphite anodes and take up far less space than carbon and silicon anodes. The reason lithium metal isn't currently being used is that when combined with liquid electrolytes, it has a far greater tendency to form dendrites, which are stalagmite-looking structures that can grow from the anode and reach the cathode, causing a cell-killing short circuit. With a solid electrolyte, the risk of dendrites is greatly reduced. Solid-state batteries are now being used only for applications such as pacemakers because of the extremely high cost, but benefits of a 15-minute charge time and capacity that could potentially propel a car for up to 1,000 miles per charge are driving many car companies to invest heavily in this technology. The solid-state battery is being researched by a lot of car makers, for instance. Samsung and Hyundai investing in Colorado-based solid power. QuantumScape is a U.S. company that attracted a $300 million investment from the Volkswagen Group, as well as an investment from Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates. The company said it has created a fire-resistant test battery with a four-layer cell, and that batteries can continue to function after 1,100 cycles, retaining at least 80% capacity. The big differentiator for QuantumScape is that it uses a proprietary ceramic barrier to prevent dendrites from reaching the cathode. The difficulty was creating a ceramic barrier that isn't brittle and allows lithium ions to flow freely through it. While everyone is at a race trying to produce a long-lasting and highly powerful and efficient battery, Solid State is the first one to emerge to battle lithium ion. Tesla's new 4680 battery is a significant step in the right direction as it's not only more prominent, but the internal structure is also different. The laser pattern shingles offer a shorter path for electrons to flow, and even though you have a larger cell, you have a battery with more power internally and externally, which ultimately shortens the charge time. Tesla has improved the efficiency and capacity of its battery, reduced the cost of production and time taken for production. With its tabless structure, as noted earlier, a time-consuming step that involved the inserting of the tab itself inside the battery has been eliminated, which simply means more battery in less time. Do you think the Tesla new 4680 battery would be the end of solid-state batteries? Let us know in the comment section below. Bye!